Hey guys, Billy with Tactical Hive. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick video on just milling targets, so range estimation, and how we do it using a couple different scopes, or a couple different reticles. I'll go over the trimmer three, and I'll do a standard mill dot reticle. For this, you're gonna need a formula. Uh, so up at the top here, we have our target size in inches, times 27.78, divided by mills red, equals distance to target in yards. Okay, how are we gonna apply this? Well, first, it's estimation, so we have to estimate um, our target size, whether we're gonna use width or height, okay, and in inches. So for the target example I'm gonna use, we're gonna call it 17 inches wide, okay, from shoulder to shoulder. So whenever I go and mill or measure this target using my reticle, I'm gonna use uh, 17 inches for this target size in inches. So uh, we use this target for our first example here. So to start, I'm gonna line this tick mark up right here. We don't count that one, we start counting here. So this would be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.8, one mil, and then these are 0.1 subtensions with a horse uh, trimmer three. 0.1, 0.2, 0.3. Okay, so this target mills 1.3 mils in width. Okay, and you can measure the target's height or you can measure the target's width for your range estimation. Typically, the bigger target size is gonna give you a little more accurate reading, and so if you're already kind of guesstimating, uh, it might be better to do the, the height to the target. So, uh, like I said, uh, 1.3 is our number we need for our second part of this equation. Target size in inches is gonna be 17. We're gonna times it by 27.78, and then divide it by now 1.3. So if we look at the math down here, after we milled our target, 17 inch target, times it by 27.78, that gives us 472. Now, the cool part about this top part of this equation, that 472 can be a constant. So if all the targets on your range are 17 inches wide, you no longer need to put 17 times 27.78, you can just use 472 divided by whatever your mills are read at that point. So 472 divided by 1.3 is gonna give us 363 yards. So this is what our sight picture would look like on a target that was 17 inches wide at 363 yards, okay? All right, so now we're gonna use the standard mill dot reticle to uh, mill or measure some targets and use the, this for our range estimation. So you can kind of see the difference between a newer style reticle versus uh, the old school reticle. Uh, this is just to show you it can be done with either, um, but those newer reticles are gonna give you a little bit of an advantage whenever you're milling targets. So we'll go over this target here now. You can use your center stadia line if you want to, but a lot of times you don't really know the exact width or where you're at on the target's edge there. So you might take away a little bit out of your range estimation. So for me, I like to cut that mill dot right in half because that mill dot is a known to me. I know that mill dot is 0.2 mils wide, so if I cut it in half, I know I'm good to go here. So. I start right here and I count in, so this is gonna be 0.5 mil, one mil, okay? Now, this is where it gets tricky, okay? We have to kind of cut this line in half. Yeah, we could probably call that about 1.3, but why can we call it that? Because we know that the value of this mil dot is 0.2 wide, okay? It's bigger than one mil, because one mil is in the center, so that's automatically 1.1, and then 1.2, and then we know this is uh, 0.5 from center mil to that, so if we can kind of cut that in half, we can come up with about 1.3. But where it gets tricky is whenever we're kind of just floating out here where it's like, is that a 1.45 or is that a 1.4? Okay, all those little numbers matter, especially one of your uh, farther ranges. So we got 1.3 mils here. Again, we're still on a 17 inch wide target. So we're gonna use the same information for our calculation. But this is just the difference of what 1.3 looks like on this reticle versus the other reticle. But it's the same exact number for our equation. You know, 17 inch wide target, we times it by 27.78, and we divide it by our 1.3, which is our mills red. This is our mills red, and then we get 363 yards. So that would be our sight picture for 363 yards. Now, if you like to use meters instead of yards, or you want the distance in meters, all we have to do is change that constant, okay? Instead of it being 27.78, we'll just make it 25.4, okay? So this will give us our answer in meters. Now, uh, there's other formulas out there. If you use an MOA reticle versus a mill-based reticle, all we went over today was mill-based reticle range estimation. So there is uh, calculations for that, and you, easily you can find them if you do a Google search. Okay, and that's uh, basic milling. If you like this content, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment at the bottom, and uh, we'll see you on the range.